cerebral microbleeds, they are actually radiological terms um, um, on MRI uh, when we uh, see small size lesions, usually less than 10 millimeters, um, uh, blood sensitive uh, sequences, for example, the Tito star or the susceptibility weighted imaging. They are uh, usually hemosiderin depositions from previous uh, small hemorrhages, and they are um, the markers uh, for aging and uh, small vessel disease. So cerebral microblades, they are very closely related to um, cognitive impairment and stroke. Uh, so, for example, if the subject uh, has cerebral microbleeds, they are at higher risk of developing uh, future stroke events, in, particu in particular uh, intracerebral hemorrhage. There's, that's the most strong association, but they are also associated with ischemic stroke. Um, yeah, and they are also um, very closely related to cognitive impairment in neurodegenerative disorders. A lot of studies showing that they are very closely related to Alzheimer's disease and as well as Parkinson's disease. The distribution of cerebral microbleeds have the insights uh, suggesting underlying uh, microangiopathy. So, for, for example, the low bar uh, located cerebral microbleeds are closely uh, associated with cerebral amyloid angiopathy, as what I've uh, talked previously. Uh, on the other hand, if the cerebral microbleeds is located in deep brain regions, such as in the basal ganglion, uh, or in the infratentorial locations, they um, are a marker suggesting underlying uh, hypertensive arteriosclerosis.